How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is breaking news from the NHL. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about it already, but if you're just waking up now you see this video, you're like, what happened? Zach Parise and Ryan Suter have been bought out of their contracts and uh, my goodness gracious, that's shocking. That is shocking. Uh, both of them. I mean, you, you probably expected like one of them and probably would be Parise, right? But the fact they ended up going with both of them, that is actually shocking. You can't deny that. So I'm here to talk about, you know, kind of exactly what is going on and, you know, what I think possibly, you know, their destinations might be. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's it's very, very out of nowhere to see both of them get bought out. Um, yeah, it's definitely a shock, you know, it's a change in the whole organization, right? Because like, obviously those two signed vicious contracts back in 2012. I remember I was a Devils fan, of course, well, I still am, but I was a Devils fan. Uh, and that was 4th of July, 2012. And when I saw Zach Parise join Ryan Suter and they signed... I was in Minnesota Wild for, I think it was like 14 years. I was, let's just say my 4th of July was ruined that year. So, um, yeah, um, there you go. So let's start really getting into it now. And uh, as you can see here, you know, the first, the first news, of course, popped up. And it was, you know, the Minnesota Wild are buying out Zach Parise and Ryan Suter. It was definitely breaking news. Uh, and as you can see in his article, uh, the Parise Suter era has come to an end. So basically, uh, you know, since they've been on the team, they never made it out of the second round. Um, definitely, you know, had a lot of playoff appearances, but, you know, not a lot really shown for it. It's not that they didn't produce. Those players were pretty good. But in the end, you know, when they joined that team, they didn't really have much. You know what I mean? Like, it was really a team that wasn't really, like, ready to, like, you know, be a cup contender. Like, it was kind of aggressive to do that. It's not the NBA, you know? It, it's not as easy as, you know, two good players go to a team and that's it. They're a cup contender. That's not really how it works. You know, McDavid could go to... You know, the McDavid and Drysaw can go to the Coyotes. They're not going to instantly be a playoff team. You still need, you know, other players that are going to be good as well, right? That's something that I feel like some, you know, maybe players don't realize, honestly. But, uh, yeah, so that was, you know, the big news right there. Um, and then, of course, uh, moving on, uh, this is really the big shocker, right? This is a really big, big news, okay? So, as you can see, uh, because, because both have no moves, they essentially will get emails from teams to waiver wires and become free agents, all right, as we expected. Wild decided rather than buying out one, they'd buy out both for 10.33 million in cap relief this year and 2.33 mil in cap relief next year. But this is where it gets psychotic. 15 plus cap charges in years three to four. So they're gonna have dead cap of $15 million. So in 2023 to 2025 or 2024, 25, it is going to be insane. They are going to have to hope the cap goes up a lot because uh, they're going to have a lot of money that they can't do anything with because of that, those buyouts. It's actually a very, very aggressive thing they did. Very, very aggressive thing. I don't know uh, what they were really thinking there. I mean, that, <sighs> if they wanted to buy them out. It's, it's really not easy, though. I mean, when you have players like that and you're buying them out, it just wasn't really an easy thing here. You know, it was not an easy thing. Uh, and and it, it just... I don't know. It, it just simply, it was aggressive. It was really, really aggressive to do that. But they wanted to get rid of him. That's for sure. So uh, then we have the next thing here. And uh, that would be, you know, the buyout details. It just, you know, going to hurt them. You know, down the road, it's going to hurt them. I mean, the fact you're going to have a cap of 7.3 mil, you know, in 2023, 2024, 2024, and 25, that's a big chunk right there. It's a big chunk. But Again, they wanted to get rid of it, and, uh, you know, that's exactly what suitors will look like as well. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of money right there, but it's something they were definitely willing, you know, to do. And, and listen, I can't hate. You know, I definitely can't hate. So that's what they wanted to do for Parise. Um, and then, as you can see, uh, you know, that, that that's still Parise. Then we have Ryan Suitors, of course. It's identical as Cat Friendly states. The same exact thing. So, you know, there you have it, right? But, uh, all right, so now for some potential destinations that I think, you know, these two players could land. Uh, you know, to me, it's it's kind of obvious for one of them. Uh, for me, as a Devils fan, I'd love for easy to come back to the Devils, but I feel like probably this late in his career, he's definitely looking to, you know, try to have any chance to win a Stanley Cup, right, late, late, late in his career. Um, I just, I, I think it's pretty obvious, right? So, 
Uh, former Devils GM, of course, the guy that drafted him, Lula Morello. I think the fit to the New York Islanders makes too much sense. I mean, I think they were trying to get him a few years ago. Uh, actually, I think it was two years ago or last year uh, before 2020 playoffs. But yeah, I mean, I, I think that makes the most sense. Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But it seems too good to be true. But I think it will come true. I think Prize, they will go to the New York Islanders. But I wanted to mention, this is the funniest thing in the world to me, before I even said where Suter's going to go, how Hut and Hut, they released these two cards, uh, Zach Parise and Ryan Suter. That is the funniest thing in the world to me. <laughs> to me, they should release uh, two cards of them again today, and it should be like, you know, free agent cards or whatever. In the wild, like, you can't make that up, actually. You can't make that up. The fact that they actually went out this yesterday and then they bought him out today, that's just, that's good stuff, you gotta admit. But anyway, so I think Parise goes to the Islanders. Uh, Suter is more tricky for me. Uh, you know, team like maybe the Avalanche would be really good, but, uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, it's all just speculation, right? It's all speculation. Um, but, again, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, let me know what you think of the whole Suter Parise buyout. Definitely aggressive move by the Minnesota Wild. Uh, they really want to go for it now. They kind of have to go for it now because in those next, you know, those two years, it's going to be really, really rough to compete and contend, uh, you know, because you can't really do much when you're, when you're that much you know, cap tied up into, into one thing, right? So, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys are new, please subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik with three E's. Join our Discord and talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. Remember to use code Henrik for 10% off your G Fuel order. I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.